What is up, everybody? This is Deal Owner 08. How are you guys doing? How was your New Year's, your Christmas? <laughs> I haven't had a video out in a little while. Sorry about that, guys. Been really, really busy retail business, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we're back on the full stack server, guys. And uh, my base looks pretty cool from this angle with the field and everything. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be working on a little bit of stuff underground, a nano farm, and a secret project. And yeah, guys, I'm really excited. But first, I did a little thing with Bundy. And I know he was in my last episode with the Vindicators. There's Degda. Hi, Degda. <laughs> I'm going to catch a bat and I'm going to name it Degda, just for you. And um, yeah, we defeated an Ender Dragon. And I got some Elytra. And... Um, yeah, this is a 1.11.2, so that means we can use our rockets to fly around. So I've got to find a place to get some gunpowder, and I'm not really sure where I can get some. I don't think Rockets has something. It's got like a big old hostile mob farm. I'm not real sure. But uh, yeah, I want to talk about something really fast before we cut away to Bundy. Uh, I got a new headset, mouse. I guess the mouse sounds a little different. And then keyboard. Listen to this, guys. It's, it's not as loud as the other one. <laughs> the other one is so much louder. Go back and watch some of my old videos. And I'm tapping forward and backwards. You can barely hear it now. It's so good. I got all Steel Series. Um, I'll link everything in the description. You guys can go look it at, look it up. And uh, yeah, it's just it's so good. I love it so much. It's uh, very colorful and. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut away, and when I come back, I'll be underground, ready to show you some really cool things, actually. Some redstone. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'm 
Okay, guys, I am back. You like that clip? <laughs> I put it at, uh, I think it was like 16 times, just because you guys don't want to watch that long, boring fight, I understand. And if you want to watch it in slow motion, you can either slow down, or I'll put Bundy's link in the description. You can watch his video. It's pretty good. Um, I went ahead and built a sugarcane farm. It is on a, dec a decay clock, or a, uh, like a despawn clock, where... There we go. We can get a good look at everything here. Um, if I pick up this, it will... Oh, actually, you need to go back, sir. <laughs> it will... Um... Here, okay, we'll pick it up. It will spew another one out of here from here. So this is on by default because there's a torch on this block underneath. If I stand on it, it will turn off. When it turns back on, it will spit another block out. See? <laughs> And as that goes off, this piston will extend and get into the sugar cane. See if we can see it here. Um, I've got too much crap in my inventory. Okay, so I picked it up as I get up. See? Pretty cool. It's uh, extremely basic. Didn't take me too long to figure out. <laughs> I don't know if there's any designs on this. It's just a, just a little sugar cane farm. The only problem with this is... Um, the despawn is five minutes, and sometimes the sugar cane will grow up higher in five minutes. It'll go too high, and it's, you know, I have some loss because I don't have anything going up underneath this. I could probably have, no, I can't because there's stupid bedrock. Why did I dig so low? <laughs> but anyways, sometimes it gets trapped here. It's fine. It's just, it's, it's free. <laughs> it's all free sugar cane, so I can't complain. I have a little bit, oops built up here. Oh, I've got a stack. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so here I've got a space cleared out. We're going to build a little micro farm. And first, I want to show you this. We've got a new fast clock. Now, they had a comparator clock, which you would have to have three blocks before you would be able to put a dispenser. And you don't have to do that anymore. So thank goodness, right? This is how you build it. Super simple. So basically, this block is the observer. So it will observe me clicking that down, which will create a one tick pulse. But as it will, you know, as it comes around here, it turns off over here. So it's really fast. And then as this turns off, it will activate it again. And it's just infinite. It will never burn out. It's extremely useful. And I don't know. Yeah, see, I can't put it on top. It won't work. But we're going to use this to make the, the nano farm instead of the comparative clock. It, it's so much easier. So I want to stand on this block right here. And I, and I may put a door in. I'm not real sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and push it in one block. So if I do want to put a door in, I'll be able to. So we're going to stand here. And we have to have a way of turning it off. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So if I put you there and then have the torch here. This is where we can put our shutoff, basically, for this. And we want it to come in this way. This is very small. <laughs> so this is the block that we want to observe, so we want to face it this way. Okay, now it's on by default because uh, the torch that I just placed down is on. So if we stand on this block, it should turn it off, and it should create a nice little fast clock. Okay, now we know that works. I need to place down. Oh, nope, not there. <laughs> I need to place down the dirt block that we're going to use here. And I just built that in the wrong dang spot. Okay, so we're going to push this back by one, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I got rid of my pick. All right, so we're going to put it here now. Just do that. Doesn't really matter. Did I lose? Oh, there it is. 
this hat in from me. Still works. Okay. So we're going to put the dirt here, and we're going to push up against this block. So we're like this. Okay. That works out pretty good, I think. <laughs> okay. So we're going to place Spencer there. So that'll go there. That'll go there. Okay. This one actually needs to be our water block. Because we have to keep this nice and hydrated. There we go. And I don't have any dispensers, do I? I have droppers. Okay, so we're going to have to make some dispensers real quick. I don't have string. I got no strings on me. I have cobwebs. Okay, so we gotta make some string real quick. Do, 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 do. Come over here. I got some wood in my inventory. I know that. Let's make a bunch of sticks. And where's that string at? Here it is. Is that how you make a bow? Alright. I don't think I got enough cobble. Bow goes in the middle. This is how I make dispensers, guys. <laughs> okay, is that all? That's all I really need, I guess. I'll go ahead and put the cobble back in there and the string. And I only need three of these guys, so that means I've got one left over. I'm gonna put in my redstone chest, just in case I need it for later. Okay, and we want to put one guy. Right there. We want to put another guy facing in this way. And then one facing straight down. There we go. And these can go up. No, they can't. No, 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 no. We want to be able to see in here, so they're going to go like that and like that. There we go. And then we can, of course, you know, fill that in because it's unnecessary. But yeah. As of right now, it, it's working. <laughs> Other than you know, the clicking. The most annoying clicking ever. All we have to do is just take this redstone and just do that. And it should work perfectly if I do this right. I hear a bunch of clicking. I can check by doing this, making sure that they all are working. Okay, so now I just need to fill this up with uh, some good old-fashioned bone meal, and we should be all done. Um, do I have any bone meal? That's the question. Oh yeah, I got lots of bones, so I'm going to go ahead and dump some of this junk in here. I'm not going to be able to put a whole lot in here right now. be able to put three stacks in each, I think. Just go ahead and do it the old fashioned way by clicking vigorously. One, two, three. One, two, three, and the rest of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. I've got some seeds in my inventory and see if I can get this to work. I believe it's working. I want to trade you out. Yep, there it goes. Awesome. Oh, that's so good. I got my own little nano farm now. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Is it still working? Yep. Oh, this is so nice. And I don't know if I can... Yeah, the way I built it, I can't really put hoppers going in there. I mean, I can here and get rid of this block here. And this side... But that's just a weird, janky way to get around to it. So I probably will, won't, which is kind of sad. But I, I can get rid of that block, and I could put one here, one there, and then maybe one here. No, no, no. It, it'll be fine. I'll just load it up manually. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but 
Yeah, we've got a little bit of a secret project to work on, too, this episode. It's running a little long, but I think we'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop off all my redstone stuff here. I am super bad about just leaving it out. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Anything other redstone in there? Pistons? These need to go. I'll get rid of button. I don't like you, button. Get out of my face. Okay, so... I noticed that my llamas upstairs were missing. So we're going to go and see what's up with that. Okay, guys. Good it's daytime. I had a creeper blow up over here. That's why this looks a little weird, but I got to fix it. Creepers, when they explode in this field, it's like a giant crater. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, over here. See, my llamas are gone. And there is a note. It says it's too hot it's too hot up her so we left ugly uh <laughs> okay ugly underground llama yard ugly that way okay so i think i think our llamas have moved away <laughs> underground and have made their own secret society so, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, we're going to go ahead and make some bread real quick out of this wheat that we just got. Okay, let's head down and see what's going on with the llamas. Okay, this is it's a little weird. <laughs> what the hell? These llamas have been doing some work. Is this is over by my? Okay, let's go ahead and seal this up here because I'm. I got a feeling the llamas are around here somewhere. Llama statues with a little fountain. Okay. This is it's very very lush down here. More llama statues, but they're in this hole here. Let me frame. Hi llamas. The the <coughs> underground. <coughs> Llama yard. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. I need to uh, build a crafting table because I want to breed these guys up one more time. You guys don't mind if I just place a crafting table over here, do you? I'm sure you don't. Okay, so. Can you guys eat one more time? Oh, I'm placing blocks. You guys gonna? No. Oh, because they're not they're not tamed. That's why. GG's. I just wasted all that wheat. <laughs> you gonna love me too? Okay, they both love me now. But yeah, guys. Uh, our llamas are gonna live underground because that's what llamas do. Apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and place this over here. Hopefully they don't suffocate in any of these blocks. I didn't I didn't really think this through. But I think I think this guy right here is the the mastermind behind everything. You can tell by the, the glorious glasses. The cute little glasses. Let's see, can I get a can I get a selfie with you, buddy? He said yes. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, let you go. <laughs> Can I get on you, buddy? There we go. I hate that you can't control them, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of the episode. I know this last part was a little derpy, but I built this a while ago, and I've been meaning to show it off. Yeah, it's the underground llama yard. These guys are going to be doing some pranks on the server later on. And, uh, yeah, I just built a little cave here. This is going to lead off into, like, a, a secret lab or something. The llamas. This guy with the glasses, he's pretty smart. I think he's going to be doing some experiments or something. But yeah, That's for a later episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.